step outdoors here in Metro Vancouver, it's clear that we have a livable region. Our blue sky days are a source of pride and our fresh air inspires action. Integral to that are stringent air quality programs and dedicated residents who step up to show they value clean air. We've been doing our air quality program since the 1970s. This is actually our fourth air quality management plan. When we did our first one all the way back in 1994, it was the first of its kind in Canada. Monitoring, enforcing, planning, and sharing air quality information, Metro Vancouver has long been a North American leader in delivering a vision for healthy, clean air. What we have seen is a result of people working together, all local governments, uh, public, uh, businesses, uh, citizens, doing their part. Metro Vancouver's most recent air quality plan has guided investments in the air monitoring network and improved public access to the data. Regulations have reduced exhaust from non-road diesel engines. And despite an increase in population, overall air quality has improved. A range of programs have been established and are providing key groups with guidance and incentives. But now, new challenges are before us. It's time to refresh that plan and move forward with a plan that really is grounded in the new scientific evidence and the public desire to see a much bolder vision. The plan will align with Climate 2050, a new strategy which guides all the Metro Vancouver actions. The new Clean Air Plan is going to really look to accelerate all of the actions that we've already started on climate change while really maintaining the, the progress that we've made in terms of the conventional air quality. The actions have to take place in the areas that we know are the greatest sources of emissions. Our buildings, transportation, industry and commerce. We're really looking at completely decarbonizing emissions from onward transportation. The way we heat our buildings can also transform with changes in energy sources, construction methods that tightly seal the building, and improved heating and cooling technology. Air quality, climate change, and health are deeply linked. We can see and feel it when global wildfires bring smoky skies to our region. There's definitely a very, very strong linkage between air quality, climate change and health and our new Clean Air Plan will recognize that. Our plans have also been leaders in terms of recognizing as far back as the 1990s the need to encompass not only the, the conventional air quality contaminants but also the greenhouse gases. Our plans previously have been leaders, we want to continue that. You can help develop the right plan for Metro Vancouver with your ideas, your perspectives, and your experience. We know that in order to really make even livability better in this region, we need to be making sure that our water is clean, our air is clean, and our environment is thriving. It's actually the input of people that matters the most because it's the ideas and actually the push from the public that creates political action. Mm -hmm.